What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. I want to talk about a really cool battery technology that uses salt water. These are also called aqueous hybrid ion batteries or sodium ion batteries, although there's a few differences. Either way, all of these battery types use concentrated saline solution as the electrolyte. This is a very new technology that has only been around for a few years. In 2008, Dr. Jay Whitaker from Carnegie Mellon University created a company called Aquion Energy with funding from Bill Gates and a few venture capital firms. Dr. Whitaker worked to perfect his idea for a saltwater battery and in September 2015 the company won a $500,000 prize for their saltwater battery invention. Also in 2015 researchers not associated with Aquion announced a sodium ion battery in the 18650 format. The remarkable thing about this announcement was they claimed it had similar energy density to lithium iron phosphate batteries. So what's so great about this battery technology? Well for one thing it's not flammable like lithium ion. Another benefit is these batteries are very easily recyclable and eco-friendly. There are also no toxins in these batteries and the materials they're made from are much more plentiful. For example, the anode in Aquion's saltwater battery is made of carbon and the cathode is made of manganese oxide. Both of those materials are much cheaper and more plentiful than lithium. Another benefit is their affordability. According to Dr. Whitaker, a battery the size of a dishwasher should be able to power an average home completely off the grid for between a thousand and three thousand US dollars. That compares very favorably to a competitive product like the Tesla Powerwall which costs over $5,000 and is not meant to power a home completely by itself. Saltwater batteries are also good for over 3,000 cycles or almost 10 years of daily use. That puts them somewhere in between lead acid batteries and lithium batteries for longevity. And finally these batteries are very durable as they can handle a wide temperature range and lots of partial cycling. Unfortunately there's one really big disadvantage. The only manufacturer of saltwater batteries, Aquion Energy, has declared bankruptcy as of March 2017. As of this video, their website is shut down and no retailers have any of their batteries in stock anymore. The good news is that reading through news reports, it does look like there are some companies that are interested in buying Aquion's assets and continuing to develop this technology. So unfortunately, there probably won't be any saltwater batteries on the market again anytime soon. That wraps up another video. Please subscribe to my channel for more cool stuff in the future.